Welcome to Fret Not. My name's Rob. My name's Colton, and welcome to the Entry Level Metal Series. Hey guys, uh, thanks for tuning in. If you don't know anything about this channel, uh, we have went out, this channel's went out, and we've purchased entry level guitars uh, after doing tons of research that we felt like you could buy at a really budget friendly price that will actually be decent guitars. Mm -hmm. So all you need to do is go to Fret Not One or go to Fret Not Guitar Reviews, either, both on YouTube and uh, get on the page, find one of the guitars that's in a giveaway, like the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, and then type the words D-O-N-E into the comments under the video, and that puts you in to win a guitar. Yep. Welcome to Fret Not. My name's Rob. My name's Colton, and welcome back to the Entry Level Metal Series. We I have... A, a new, new guitar. A new guitar. Yeah. We've got the Fogil, what is it? The FLP90. FLP90. Yep. Got kind of a Les Paul style mm -hmm. body. Um, we picked this up on Amazon. We're gonna get the price point. We're gonna let you hear it in a mix. We're gonna tell you all about it. And I guess without further ado, I do. Too much further ado. We're gonna talk about the guitar. Mm -hmm. So I believe pretty much everything is kind of a standard setup from Amazon. They're pretty much not all of them, but a lot of them are just mahogany in all places. This one has a roasted maple neck, and it has a maple fretboard. Nice. It's a nice looking fretboard. I don't, I don't know how that comes out for you all, but the inlays are, are beautiful. So they've put a lot of uh, high gloss on this guitar, and it goes over the fretboard also. Um, first of all, the fretwork on this is really good. Mm -hmm. um, if you go to their, if you go to Amazon, it says 22 stainless. Stainless. No T, stainless steel frets. <laughs> um, I believe these are some form of stainless. They don't feel like nickel. So, hey, that's a really good deal. So you get, it says you get a bone nut, you get a roasted maple neck, and you get a maple fretboard. Mm -hmm. It's not too bad. Now... Well, you're going to get to hear this in a mix in a second. And as you know, when we get done with this, we're going to be giving this away. Um, I don't want to critique the guitar yet because I want you to hear it. And I want to get your guys' thoughts on it too. But from a two foot away, this thing is gorgeous. Mm -hmm. When you get really, really close, there's not much difference. It's, real, it's really done nice. If... Um, I had to save that till the last segment, but I got I got a comparison that makes a lot of sense on this guitar. <laughs> but um, this guitar looks, feels, weight plays um, a whole lot like an eight hundred dollar, maybe even more Epiphone. Yeah. You know, Epiphone yeah. Les Paul. I mean, it when they did that high gloss on the fretboard, it just gives it a real high, rich feel to it. Mm -hmm. um, I thought because it had a high gloss fretboard that it might be a little draggy, but it's really slick. Yeah, no, it's definitely slick, smooth, up, you know, no drag. Maybe if you, you know, just got done washing your hands, because you should be washing your hands before you pick up your guitar, <laughs> you would maybe feel some drag. That is a rule. <laughs> so, um, like I said, we're going to get to a mix in just a second. Um, we gave away the uh, Ibanez last week. Yep. And uh, he sent us pictures, so here in an episode or two, we're going to make another little deal of all the winners. A That's montage. We've been like 10, 11, 12 now. It's around there. It's got to be around there. We've been giving away a lot of guitars. All right, just so you know, uh, especially if you're not new to this channel, we have another guitar coming in tomorrow, and it will be the first for Fret Knot that was sent to us for the purpose of a review. We're a little different not ragging nobody, but we're a little different than most people because we're going to review it this weekend. 
probably two or three days after you see this, and after we review it. I'm gonna give it away. Yeah, we're not keeping it. Um, and it was really cool. I'm not, not gonna uh, open up about it yet, but it'll be here tomorrow. But it was really cool that the owner of the company sent it to us because I told him, I said, He's like, well, we want you to play it, and we'd like you like you to review it. And I said, well, we'll be happy to play it and review it, but when we get done with it, we give it away. So he was really cool about that. Mm -hmm. So coming up this weekend, you're going to see another vid. And like I said, it's, it's the same for us, whether we buy it or somebody sends it to us. So it's still unbiased. We're just going to tell you what we think about the guitar. Yeah, let you hear it. Yeah, because we don't have a dog in the hunt. Nope. So, what do you think about the aesthetics of it? Does it not look like a higher-end Les Paul? It does. It's got a really kind of just classy look to it. Mm -hmm. um, I, I don't typically like these kind of knobs, but it just fits. It works with this Those guitar. Those are top hat knobs. They look it. <laughs> <laughs> so, this guitar comes in probably 10, 12 colors. Now, the trick... If you if you shop around on Amazon, some of them colors are cheaper than others. Yeah. So we got this one because it was the lower price of the other colors. Um, and you know, I'm sure this company, like every other Amazon company, puts coupons on, especially if you're Amazon Prime. You know, there's probably ways to get this guitar a little bit cheaper than the way they sell it. Um, it showed for us that tracking came out of Texas. Um, so there you go. I don't, I, that, maybe that's where they got a warehouse at. I don't know. Could be. Uh, it didn't come from overseas cause it got literally got here in a couple days. So yeah. it wasn't an overseas shipment. It's got really nice binding around the body, it around does. the neck. They really emulated the classic Les Paul styling mm -hmm. very well. Yeah, that the binding color on there. I don't again. I don't know if you can see it very well, but it's got that creamy kind of ivory white, you know, look to it. And we're very gonna classy. we've kind of given you the specs because pretty much the whole body is mahogany. Uh, you do have a roasted neck, roasted maple neck, and you do have a maple fretboard. Um, we haven't opened it up in the cavity to see what the pots are. Um, I will tell you this about the guitar: the neck. The fretboard of the neck seems to be wider and flatter than a traditional Les Paul style. Yeah. It doesn't have near as much curvature, but in yeah. a way, with that high gloss finish, that makes it just play even better. Yeah. Yeah, it's very, um, it's just, it's a different, you know. It's, I don't it's think not it's, necessarily in a bad way, it's just it kind of feels a little squared. Yeah, but now the neck's not wide. It's uh, in the neck, and the uh, the you know the thickness of the neck is not thick. It's still super thin, but it's just a flatter, mm -hmm. you know, flatter neck. And that's kind of weird on a Les Paul to have a flat neck. Yeah. But hey, man, it plays amazing. Um, I'm gonna get to a couple of things here in just a minute. But first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna shut up and we're gonna let you hear this in a mix. We're gonna come out, we're gonna talk price point, how you get it, what our thoughts are. And trust me, we have thoughts on this. Well, we'll be Wait. right back. Okay, we're back. You got to hear some of it in the mix. Now's the fun part, because now I get to talk about it. Mm -hmm. uh, so we gave you the specs on it. We let you hear a little bit of it in the mix. I'm going to be 100% honest with you guys. I went through three or four patches um, before I found the patch, regardless what you think of that mix, um, that I felt like actually made the guitar really sound good. And there's, there's really two reasons for that. A, 
in their quest to bring the action down so low, um, you do have a little bit of fret buzz. It doesn't come out much when you're playing it plugged in, but without that, you can definitely tell it. Yeah. Um, and the pickups, we're a high gain channel. Let me make that statement first. Uh, we're used to higher gain pickups. They're just not. Now, am I ragging on uh, this company for you know putting pickups that are not high gain? Absolutely not. I will tell you this. Now, you know we give all of our guitars away. Um, if you spent 80 or 90 bucks on some little knockoff PAFs and put in that guitar, I believe you would, hey, you got to set the, uh, you got to set the action on it. I mean, you, you have to. Mm-hmm. And the truss rod may be just a touch out. But like I said, we don't work on nothing. We want to show you just what it is at the way we get it because that's how you'd get it. Yep. You spend a little bit of money. And you'd have to get knockoff PAS, but you just put some halfway mediocre, decent pickups in this guitar, and I would be proud to run around on stage with that. And man, it plays that nice. Mm-hmm. Yep. So we picked this up on Amazon. It's a buck ninety nine, hundred ninety nine bucks. They Not make this guitar in about ten other colors. Those colors are a little bit more exotic than this one. They, are, they range all the way up to $239. I didn't find a coupon code, um, so we just pulled it for the $199 and had it shipped in. But, man, to get stainless steel <laughs> frets, I'm hoping that's a typo, um, to get a roasted neck, to get a maple fretboard, to get everything high-glossed over, um, to get the weight of that, Man, I'm just telling you, that's a really good buy. Mm-hmm. You know the like the entry level Epiphones that are like paper thin. That that's not this, and and it does not it does not play like that either. It it plays really nice, but I agree with everything he said. It you know, and I I feel like I do always mention fret buzz and how most of the ones don't. This this is the occasion that it does, and like you said, you're gonna want to get. You're gonna to want to get that adjusted, and then if you can put any kind of money into some some pickups that will compete with some some high gain, it's gonna do really nice. So it sounds really good on a clean channel. It sounds good in kind of a crunch, and I know we're not doing that, and I'm probably gonna get yelled at there for that because somebody always comments, "You need to play it on there." I understand that, guys, but this channel is about high gain now. If you've only got a little bit of money and you're trying to figure out what guitar to get, that's kind of why we're here mm-hmm. on this series. So I mentioned a hundred bucks for some PAFs. You'd probably have to dig around on the internet. You could get them off Amazon, but hey, you might get the same pickups that's in this. So you need to be careful about that part. Mm-hmm. But even if you put, if you could get a, a set of Duncans and put in it, man, just some DeMarzios, if that had DeMarzios in it, it would be amazing, man. Um, I believe the Mitchell, Les Paul, I believe it beats this out because the pickups edge this out. Yeah. As much as you guys, if you know me, I rant and raved about that Mitchell. We gave it away. I thought that Mitchell was a perfect modding guitar. I think this is better. And it's 50 bucks cheaper, but it will require you to do some modding unless you're... And listen, if you don't play super high gain, if you're not trying to lamb a got it, <laughs> you probably don't need to change the pickups. No. no. So I tried a Just bunch the... of different patches. I'm not cutting you off, but Sorry. I tried a bunch of different patches. And what ended up happening is I went back to our standard chunky EVH patch because to me it brought out a little bit of more resonance. The higher brittle you know, patches, it just seemed to, you would hear the string and it would dissipate. Okay, so all in all on this guitar, man, um, for 199 bucks, that's a steal. Are you gonna have to tweak it? Yes. And if you don't know how to tweak it, can't afford to tweak it, can't take it to somebody to tweak it, from fret not, don't buy it. Or at least the one we got. Because yeah. it needs a little <laughs> tweaking. You don't have to replace the pickups, but you really need to get the neck set, you really need to get the intonation set, and you really need to get the action set, the string height, right? Because they've got it so low, it's just touching. 
Uh, if it wasn't for that, man, this would be a screaming deal I mean, without I, having to touch it. I guess if you were just desperate enough and you really wanted to have a guitar, something bare minimum to learn on, this is great for that. This um, plays, I'm telling you, man. it's going to need a little love. It plays like, you know, anywhere from seven, $800,000 guitar. I mean, it's, it's really nice. I just wish the pickups were a little better quality, but hey, it is what it is. We're paying them $199 for it. Okay, we've said enough about this guitar. We have another guitar coming in tomorrow. We'll be doing that review in about three days. Also, make sure you go out to the channel. Make sure you get on that IYV guitar. We have our tuners in. The pickups are in route. We may have them tomorrow. We should have them before the weekend. We're going to have that stuff put in that guitar. We're going to have our Luther, Luthier clean it up. And the first of next week, we're going to have that back on the channel. And uh, there's a lot of people that's got in on that drawing, but I don't really believe a lot of people know yet what that's going to turn out to be yeah. when we get done with it. Yeah, it's going to be cool. Um, and listen, if you guys get together on the comments of that guitar and they say, we don't want it, hey, I'll stick that right there. I'll play that <laughs> yeah. for the rest of my we'll, life because we'll when it. we get done with it, mm -hmm. that's going to be a really nice guitar. Um, if you're still here, we're going to be redundant. Hey, we've got memberships. Uh, if you can, please get in on the memberships. We put we we put a few things up on the uh, on the members only side. We've got more stuff in the works. Uh, it really helps us out, and it helps the level of guitar we're able to give away. We're probably going to have some membership only giveaways also mm -hmm. in in the near future. We have a lot of things going on. Um, we're waiting on our new luthier that we got in touch with to find us a piece of wood for the top. We've got all the rest of the woods picked out. And once he finds that piece of wood for the top we want, we're going to come back on here and we're going to kind of show you everything that we're doing. And we're going to let you guys be a part of that process on designing a custom guitar. Yep. Um, make sure that get, uh, there's a lot of reviews. There's a lot of guitars out there right now. This weekend, we'll be giving away the court. Uh, after that, we've got the West Creek. Uh, make sure you get in on those. After that, we got the Harley Benton. Make sure you get in on that. But don't fail to get in on that IYV because when these, when Aurora Tone pickups and our buddy at the Guitar Spa gets through with that guitar, uh, I might, I might, you know, delete the channel and just keep that because <laughs> it's going to be really nice. It's going to be pretty cool. Listen, guys, as always, we really appreciate you. Um, make sure you watch the channel. Please tell your friends, tell your enemies, tell everybody. The more people that get on here, the more we give away. I know it sucks the more people get on because there's more people competing with you. But, hey, I'd rather have, you know, a few, I mean, a lot of people with $1,000 guitars mm -hmm. than a few people with $100 guitars. Yep. So it just ups the ante of what we are able to do. All right, listen, guys, we really appreciate you, and until next time. Stay tuned.